Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today I'm going to be talking about identifying story elements. So we're going to be reading a story and we're going to be looking at things like the story setting in order to figure out more elements about the story and kind of what the story is about. So first let's actually go ahead and read a part of this story. The story is called Contest on Mars Colony. Axel was woken up by the shrill Mars Colony emergency alarm. He jumped from his bunk and pulled on his protective spacesuit. It was probably just a drill, but he didn't want to mess up if there really was a crack in their shield. Dad came in, wearing his spacesuit and helmet. He gave Axel a thumbs up. The all clear bell sounded and his dad removed his helmet. All good, he asked. Axel nodded. Everything was fine, except that he missed Earth so much. Later that morning at school, the kids were complaining about the drill. They stopped when Teacher Robot arrived. A contest will be held, Teacher Robot announced. He explained the contest was to design something to improve life at the colony. Their projects were due in just three days. When class ended, Axel pulled his friend Zane aside and asked, what are you thinking? Zane always had great ideas. Maybe an emergency alarm that plays beautiful music, Zane replied. Ha, huh, said Axel. Okay, good luck with the contest. Axel fell out of place as usual. Most of the Mars Colony kids had been born here. They were always coming up with creative new ideas. Sometimes Axel felt he'd left his imagination back on Earth. His mind went blank when he tried to create. That night, Axel asked Dad, what do you miss most about Earth? That's easy, Axel walks in the woods. I miss green leaves and fresh country air, but I try not to think about it too much. Axel nodded, he felt the same. The next morning, Axel got to work. He might not be a colony native, but he had an idea. He talked with the colony building manager. He consulted the chief crop expert. He met with the water rationing office and the seed bank captain. The next day was filled with shovels and boxes and ladders and hoses and plants and more plants. On the third day, Axel got up early to put in a few hours of work before the contest deadline. He was the last one to arrive at the contest assembly. His heart was beating rapidly. The kids started presenting their entries. They all showed off amazing high-tech devices and apps, like Alyssa's automatic interior spacesuit helmet wiper. When his turn came, Axel told Teacher Robot he wasn't quite finished, but would like to take the students on a field trip. No spacesuits needed, he laughed. As he led his classmates to the hatch and to the warehouse pod where he'd been working, everyone gasped. Axel had created a forest. It was immature yet, but the super quick grow seeds and Martian fertilizer had worked best. I just need a few volunteers for watering, watering and cutting trails, Axel said. Then we'll have a place to walk in the woods here on Mars. All right, so what is the story setting? Well, we know he's not on Earth because Axel talks a lot to his dad about how he misses Earth. And we know that they're on Mars because of this last final sentence, then we'll have a place to walk in the woods here on Mars. So because of that, we know that he's in a colony on Mars, which would be the first answer. Great, now let's look at another element of the story. Who is the main character in the story? Was it Zane, one of Axel's classmates? Was it Axel? Was it dad or was it teacher robot? Well, when we're trying to figure out the main character, we wanna see who the story is about, whose perspective we're seeing the story from. In this case, the story is about Axel and how Axel is trying to create a project for this contest that they're having. So then in this case, because Axel is the one who is doing the project and he's going through the troubles and he's figuring out what he's going to do for his project, the main character is Axel. All right, now we have to put the story's events in orders. So the first thing that happened in these couple of paragraphs where they were doing a drill, they had an alarm that woke up the colony and there was a drill to make sure that nothing would happen if there was a crack in their shield. So I'm gonna take this one and put it first. Next, let's scroll down a little bit. Um, a contest will be held, Teacher Robot announced. So after the drill, we know that there's going to be a contest and they have to come up with stuff. And 
after the contest, Axel is thinking about what he's going to do. He's not really sure. But finally, Axel talks to dad and he gets an idea. So that's going to be the next thing I'm going to add on the timeline. And then if we scroll down again, he's completing his idea and then he shows up to the conscious assembly and he wants to show off his project where there's no space it's needed. So it's going to be the last one. All right, and the last question, what is the main problem in the story? Well, the main problem is that Axel is worried that he's not as creative as the other kids, right? He talks a lot about how he feels like the kids who are born on the colonies, who are colony natives, are really good with coming up with ideas and will be really helpful to the colony in the future. But he's worried that he really isn't that creative and that he left his creativity on Earth. So therefore, the answer would be the second one. Oh, just kidding. One last more. What is the solution to the problem? Um, so the solution to this problem, if we scroll down, is that he realizes that he can bring a little piece of earth onto the colony by creating a forest. Axel's father decides they'll move back to Earth. No, they're, they're not gonna move back to Earth. They're going to stay on Mars. The second option, Axel comes up with a high-tech app idea. No, his idea was to create a forest. Um, option three, Axel realizes he can improve the colony by growing a forest. Yeah, we're, we're going to keep that answer. That might be the right answer. And four, Zane invents a new alarm that will play beautiful music instead of buzzing. Well, Zane's not the main character, so that's not really the solution to the main problem. So we're going to go with Axel realizes he can improve the colony by growing a forest. And there we go. We finished identifying story elements of things such as settings, main characters, main ideas, finding the problem and what the solution to the problem was. So in conclusion, in order to figure out these story elements, the keys are really to read the whole story in detail and then make sure you go back and you reread or you highlight stuff that is important or circle stuff that's necessary. That way when you go back, you'll have an easy time recognizing it.